Matt Hoffman broke his left foot. And there it is, looking much better than it has. Most of the purple has gone away. But about half of his foot was purple. He has inserted a steel plate which matches the bottom of his shoe. And now he will try to ride on the heel with three broken bones in his foot. And the Condor, even with one bad wheel, can soar with the best of them. And the first thing I want you to notice about Matt Hoffman is how high he gets in the air. Hoffman has ridden very little this week, but he probably has more air miles underneath him than anybody else in the history of the sport. It's all about getting rhythm. You have to get in the right rhythm on the ramp to get high, and that's what Matt Hoffman is able to do. Delaying the end of the move and then going right to the pegs. If someone were to walk in here right now, standing on the seat, and you would tell them that he has a broken foot, they wouldn't believe you. It's not just a broken foot, it's broken in three places, and he couldn't even walk on it. The doctor wanted to put a cast on it and have him use crutches. Hoffman <laughs> said, no way, I gotta ride at the Olympics closing ceremony soon. <laughs> Less than 20 seconds to go for Matt Hoffman. The tail went really, really hard to land, and you saw him take his left foot off, but give this young man a lot of credit even for trying that trick. Matt Hoffman. Watch his left foot. That's where the steel plate is. That's where the broken bones are. Does he take it off? He holds on to it there as far and as long as he can. The extension of the 540, he is up there a long time. But keep an eye on the left foot. Does he keep it on? And he does. So it must feel pretty good. And then up on the coping, he gets hung up just for a second, slides on the double pegs, and then comes right back down near the escalator, which is kind of tough going uphill. The bone's not showing, but the smile is. He's in first place. Hoffman wears an external shoulder brace because that shoulder has been rebuilt four times. Five shoulder operations overall. The doctor says he can't keep putting Hoffman back together again. He's also riding with three broken bones in his foot. And he is the burliest guy out there. Listen to the crowd as he throws a string of tricks. You see what he does? Every single hit on the ramp, he is nailing a trick. 540 to tail whip. Now Hoffman slows it down a little bit as he gets into the second segment, goes up the escalator, stalls it, and has to come back down. But Jack, he is the master of air, and what he does in air, nobody else does. He gets higher, and he pulls more variations than anybody. That's why he scores so high. He's got a steel plate in his left shoe. And another 540, and another tail whip. A no foot 540 to a tail whip. Look at the combination. He just keeps spinning them off. The guy is playing in considerable pain. He's got three broken bones in his foot. And if you're wondering, it is his left foot. It is his left foot. What else can you say about a man that was doing tricks at 15 that people still do not know how to do? Matt Hoffman is 24 now. There is none like him. Just watch Matt leave the coping, the full bar spin, and the reverse bar spin. Nobody has done that yet tonight. Really difficult trick to do. Creativity high and very, very difficult. And then the big tail whip. And this man loves it. He knows he's watched him so many times before. 95.60 in the second round for Matt Hoffman, and he has retaken the lead. It's the current leader, Matt Hoffman. Listen to this crowd and watch the man at work. He's got a mechanical problem right away. Dennis McCoy. Hoffman lost 15 seconds. He can make up for it.
20 seconds left for Matt Hoffman. He has shown tremendous variety, tail whips, elevation, coping tricks, great balance and touch. Now he goes to finish it off and bring home some gold. 10 seconds left. Remember, he's got a broken foot. He falls right on it. 540 rough landing, three broken bones in the foot. A thorough professional, Matt Hoffman, was good enough to win. Matt Hoffman is the king of vert. And this is why he pulls tricks like no other rider in the world. Left foot broken in three places, the huge tail whip, and let's see if he favors it. He doesn't. What a stud. And then coming back with the 540, he doesn't pull the trick as he slides out. Matt Hoffman has an average score of 94.33 as Dennis McCoy watches. And Dave Mira also appreciates. Hoffman and his broken foot have left the door open for Jamie Bestwick, whose run is still to come. Broken foot and all, the defending champion has won gold again. With an average score of 94.33, Matt Hoffman defends his championship in the vert ramp. Street gold medalist Dave Mira is second with Jamie Bestwick third. The left foot with three broken bones. The candy bar move showing the stuff of which Matt Hoffman is made. How did Hoffman deal with the pain? He ignored it. His ignorance is our bliss. <laughs> There's not a single person who would have blamed Matt Hoffman for not competing in the vert competition. The 10 time world champ and defending X Games champ went into it with a fractured foot. Matt, you've had 16 surgeries. What keeps you going? Um, I don't really focus so much on the, the injuries as much as, you know, just um, what I'm trying to accomplish and just kind of the, the tricks and stuff I've, I've learned and in the process I've, I've kind of, I've fallen short a few times and, and gained these injuries, but, but I guess just keeping, wanting to progress and, and, uh, and accomplish uh, new things. So now with a steel plate under the heel of your shoe, you go into the finals. The second run is the one that really sealed it for us. Can you take us through the run? Sure. Um, see here, I think I said a short little prayer to make sure my foot wouldn't hurt so bad. And then uh, just started getting some pump air, trying to get some height. And, uh, and there's Superman just trying to keep some height and some consistency and some rhythm in the in the run and candy bar, I guess, named play by play. Did a bar spin and flipped them back, bar spin back. How much are you thinking about the pain here in your foot? Um, not much. I, I kind of forgot about it actually until I'd, I'd land something like that kind of low and I'd be like, oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's not working properly, you know. But uh, but I mean, it wasn't it wasn't so much of a kind of after the runs, I'd get up on the deck and be like, oh wow, I gotta put this up and try to get it so that it'll work for the next run. Yeah. You've, you've built your reputation and people believe that there's nothing you can't do, that nothing is impossible for Matt Hoffman. Do you feel like you have to consistently live up to that pressure? Yeah, I, I guess you, you do. I do feel a lot of expectation, and that's what was kind of great about this contest. I enjoyed it a lot because, I mean, even though it was it was a bummer, I had a broken foot. I got to eliminate those expectations and just kind of enjoy my riding with with uh, and just ride for myself a little bit and with my comrades up there, you know, and uh, and enjoy the enjoy the competition a little bit more. You know? How often do you get to really just enjoy a competition? You have Hoffman Bikes and Hoffman Productions, so you're you're making frames and you're promoting tours. Is there a lot more on your mind than the other guys you're out there with? Uh, I'm sure. I, I, I mean, I, I kind of taken it upon myself just to um, promote the sport, you know, and, and try to keep some some roots in there and stuff. So, um, so I enjoy doing that also. But um, but it does definitely take away from um, competing and you know and and, and just. Uh, the, you know, my, I guess my involvement in just on my bike riding as much as I, would, I enjoy, I would enjoy. When do you say enough is enough and you're going to retire or I'll be back at the X Games next year? Yeah, I mean, it's my passion. I mean, if I had, if I, if I could find something that I, I loved as much as, as riding my bike, you know, and, or that fulfilled me as much as riding my bike, then I'd do it, but I haven't. So it looks like I'll stay, keep riding my bike until. <laughs> That's good news for us, and we'll look for you also at the closing ceremony of the Olympics. Uh, great. Congratulations on another win. Uh, thank you very much.